everyone. Um, I am back to show you week two. Um, just to give you a heads up, I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible <laughs> because I am very sick. So if my voice goes in and out. That's just why. <laughs> um, here's my chunky, my chunky book. It's getting bigger. Um, I don't know how much more is going to fit in it, but we are going to just keep on moving here. Um, so this is where I left off with week one. On the back, I just, I don't really even like this. I'm not even going to lie. I really don't like this. But I just did something just so the back wasn't just plain. And I didn't have a photo to put. And I wanted to, uh, I wanted to have these tabs in between the weeks. Although I don't know that I'm going to do that again. Um, it does kind of add extra bulk unnecessarily. So I'm, I don't know. Maybe when the book is done, I might add in some more if there's a little bit of room. But... I don't know. I don't like it enough to, to want to take the time to do it, is what I'm trying to say. But um, this is week two. I just added some layering and all kinds of stuff on there. Okay, on day eight, we did a wish list. Um, I didn't actually put mine in here yet, but we write up a wish list and we include all of the just all the things that we would want if we could if we could get them and it's kind of silly because most of the stuff on the lists are usually just like the stupidest things like totally unnecessary things um and we're not even that materialistic like we don't really we don't really need stuff like I don't like having stuff I'm such a minimalist except when it comes to crafting things so most of my my list is just all these paper lines and stuff <laughs> but Nadia's, she said she wanted candy for Christmas. I was like, oh, for goodness sake. Uh, but I told her how to spell it so she can put it on here. Because she was, she was scribbling furiously, like pretending like she was writing a lot. And I thought that was so cute. But then when she said she wanted candy, I, I told her how to write it. So she wrote it. C-A-N-D-Y. <laughs> I just thought that was so funny. It's really cute. So... I, uh, are you kidding me? Look at this. I can't even get it back in. Um, we, like I said, the theme of the day is books. Um, we went to the thrift store because I needed to get a book for a junk journal that I was, um, going to make. And I wanted to see what they had. And, uh, I ended up getting a ton of these books, um, but my father-in-law sent some gifts, and when I opened the box, I saw these blankets on top, one for me and one for my husband, and they are the best blankets ever. Oh my gosh, I just love them so much. I say that about every new throw I get, but honestly, I just love, I just love blankets. They're just so cozy. Um, so I took a few pictures of us in, um, wearing ours. <laughs> Um, but they're great because they actually match our um, great room. Um, they have all of these, I think they're from Barnes and Noble, um, but they have all of these phrases on them from like classic novels and uh, our our um, front room in our house, our great room, it's uh, it kind of has that theme to it already, um, like old book pages and stuff kind of decorate the room and uh, the centerpiece is a really old bookshelf we have. So it's just, I don't know, it matched really well. So, okay. Um, wow, it's starting to get a glare. So on this page, it's just kind of a filler page. I uh, get catalogs and stuff. So I like this picture. So I just cut out, I just cut out the, uh, the picture and stuck it in the pockets. And these are just star wood veneers that I sealed in here just for fun. Um, in this little pocket, this envelope, I just, I was writing about how a, uh, the worst prank ever for my husband would be getting this and sticking it in our front yard. He, he is like, he's like totally freaked out by nutcrackers. He thinks they're just like terrifying. <laughs> it's just kind of funny because this one moves. It says that it moves and plays the drums. It's animated. So I said the worst prank would be actually putting that in our front yard. He would freak out. Um, I thought that was funny. So anyways, I just had to include that in there just for fun. On this page, I had written out my gift list ideas, um, just gifts that we would, I would get and make for other people. But um, I stuck a separate sheet 
of paper in here because I didn't want anyone to see their their gift ahead of time. So that's just a kind of a filler paper. Um, this page here, I um, oh I just I just put this little pocket, and inside has these Instax photos that I took during the day, like Nadia all cuddled up with her dolly in the three generations of us girls, you know, me, Nadia, and her doll. <laughs> we did our toes, so I took a picture of our, our purple toes. Anyways, i just put that in there. Um, on this page, I really loved this because I have this, I have this old book, just as Christmas bedtime stories, and this is one of the pa pages out of it. And this was a day that we did baking. We did, we made Christmas cookies. And on this page, it's all about baking Christmas cookies. It's a story about it. And it says, mothers passed their secrets on to daughters, but no one outside the family was supposed to know exactly what made the cookies so good. And I thought that was so cool. I might underline it or something just so it's more obvious, but I thought that was, I thought that was cute. So on the back I have this envelope and I wrote something about it on Instagram and so I actually took a screenshot of it. This the cookie that didn't come out. Oh my gosh. Um, I said so there's definitely part of me that is always hoping for the perfect food photos when we make Christmas cookies or other treats. But this, this right here is the keeper. This not even close to being right candy cane cookie tells the whole story. <laughs> The story of the sleepy mama that used the wrong recipe and accidentally created mega cookies that kept growing larger and larger by each passing minute, while I laughed harder and harder at my blunder. As ugly as it is, there's more substance in this one picture than if I had taken the perfect Pinterest-worthy photo. This is just my real, laughable, foggy-brained life, and I'm more than, more than, more than okay with it. Um, so I, I wrote about it, and then I, I put that in the tag after I took a screenshot of it on my phone. This is a picture that I took um, whenever they they did come out and it's a lot better. They uh, <laughs> they actually did come out right that time so I just took this picture and added it to this file folder here. Um, our cookie dough and then the cookies and then Nadia reaching over and stealing some chocolate chips. I thought that was I thought that was funny. So anyways um, there's that this inside the file folder i actually never finished this to be honest i i need to go back i had a, i had one more bigger photo to stick here on this side of something i made during the day but um this day was 66 degrees out which is really unusual for december here in ohio but i um took a screenshot of the um of the weather <laughs> from the weather app and um, I just added some stuff on this page but I made this little film strip of photos Nadia and I went outside and we were playing for a while but she was collecting pine cones from our tree and um, I looked at the top and I was like oh it looks like a flower so when we went inside we we um, took them and painted them and then used them almost like a stamps on paper and made like this little like floral looking paper. I was actually going to put the paper, um, glue it down here and then stick a photo on top of it too. But I never did it. But in this pocket are, is just some journaling. So there's that. Um, I'm a little bit behind because I still have stuff to do here, like journal on this, um, on this tag. But this day we were, I was playing the piano and I turned around and Nadia was dancing. And the whole time I was playing, um, she actually asked me to, she loves when I play. The whole time I was playing, I was just hearing all these mistakes and just feeling like, man, I really stink at this. I used to be so good. Like I was really, I was actually really good. And um, I took lessons for like 12 years and uh, or something like that. And then, and then I went off to college and I stopped playing and I kind of lost a lot of it. Um, so I can't really play the piano much anymore, but I turned around and she was dancing. She wasn't hearing any of the mistakes. So I kind of wrote about that online. Um, but there's this picture. She, she ran over and she hugged me and it was just, it was just too perfect. So I'm glad I have a photo of that, but I, um, I just have to write more about it here. Um, this is the day we got sick. And this little girl, she could be such a smiley face even when she's sick. And she totally cheered me up because she was running around with a Santa Claus hat on. Um, so I wrote about that, that even when she's sick, she's 
always trying to make us smile. She's a gem. Um, this page was the day that I was addressing Christmas cards. Um, so I took a photo of that, just the Christmas cards and envelopes and stamps. And then I wrote about it, um, about our Christmas cards. And um, I just printed it on this big photo, journaled on top, and then stuck the, the number, the date, right on there too. And this is where I leave off. I haven't actually finished it. I have this wood veneer that I thought was would be nice for this page. So I'm probably going to put some stuff in this pocket, maybe some sequins or something. Um, just a journaling card and then our, our Christmas card. And that's it. That's that's all I've got so far. The rest are just waiting to be waiting to be used. So that is my week two. I don't know that I like it as much as my week one, but that's okay. I'm still doing it, so I'm happy. <laughs> but um, anyways, that's all. So if you have any questions, you just let me know. But I hope you have a great day. Bye. Are you, what in the heck is going on? What the heck? What? Got it. <laughs> oh gosh.